On the night of Ashura, the Imam relates, I saw my father on the night of Ashura mending his sword. Now at this time, Imam Sajjad was ill and most likely Sayyidah Zainab, peace be upon her, was next to the Imam and tending him in his illness. The Imam says, salam, I saw my father mending his sword and he was reciting these verses. Ya dahru uffin laka min khaliri, kam laka bil ashraqi wal asili. Shame on you time, shame on you as a friend. From the time of day's dawning till the time it does end, how, me, how many a friend will be a corpse, cold still dead? Time won't be pleased with a stand-in instead. The matter will rest with the great, mighty one. And not a living being will remain. We must all go, one by one. The Imam relates, alayhi salam, when I heard my father saying these verses, these verses of poetry, I understood that fate was near. And I began to shed tears, but silently, just silently, these tears began to flow down my cheeks. But he continues, alayhi salam, as for my Aunt Zainab, peace be upon her, she could not stand to hear Al Imam al Hussein alayhi salam saying this. She could not stand to hear her Imam announcing his own death. And of course, again, this is someone who is the most beloved person in creation to her, Abu Abdullah al Hussein alayhi salam, someone who she has been inseparable, someone who she has literally spent her entire life with. This is someone who is also the Imam, the Hujjat Allah upon earth, uh, someone who has authority over all creation, is described as the most beloved of Allah's creations in the heaven and the earth. And indeed, uh, as is said in the narrations, there is a fire in the hearts of the believers, the mu'mineen, uh, out of love and grief for Al Imam Hussein alayhi salam. So when Sayyidina Zainab, peace be upon her, when she hears this, she too begins to cry like Al Imam Sajjad alayhi salam, and she says, Woe be upon me. I wish that I had died before you, O oh, Aba Abdullah. It's as if my mother Fatima to Zahra salam Allah, alayha, has died again today. And of course, this was not a calamity that had just struck Sayyidah Zainab, peace be upon her. This is a calamity that they had all been through together. Their mother Fatima to Zahra salam Allah, alayha, had died. She says, it's as if our father Ali has died again. It's as if our brother Hassan has been killed again. And now we're going to lose you, Abu Abdullah. Upon hearing this, the other women in the camp began to cry and shed tears again. And the Imam advised them that although they would endure tremendous grief, to try to be strong in front of the enemy, to carry themselves with dignity. After all, there is no end to the thawab and the divine reward in sincerely expressing and feeling grief for Aba Abdullah al Hussein, right? We do so many things out of remembrance for, for Al Imam al Hussein alayhi salam that we would not do even for our own children or our own family members. There is indeed a special fire in the hearts for the mu'mineen of Al Imam al Hussein.